is always so fun to watch. It is 556. You are looking at what could be the country's first net zero carbon emissions hotel. We take a look at how they did it. Plus, the Bay Area tradition returns. The festival back on the streets of Berkeley and Albany after the pandemic hiatus. And Caltrain trying to deal with the rising demand of people heading back to the office. The new schedule when you see wait time. And here is a live look outside before we have to break cooler temperatures this week. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Well, more on that after the break. I was injured in a car crash. I had no idea how much my case was worth. I called the Barnes firm. When a truck hit my son, I had so many questions about his case. I called the Barnes firm. It was the best call I could have made. Your case is often worth more than insurance offers. Call the Barnes firm to find out what your case could be worth. We will help you get the best result possible. It's gonna be a nice day. Oh yeah. Dad always said to enjoy the little things. It was difficult losing Dad. He was the pillar of the family. None of us knew what to do. Holy Cross helped us when we needed it. It really made it easy on all of us. To know what that poor little angel went through by the hands of pure evil breaks my heart. Right now on KPX 5 News at 6, we are learning more about the murder of an 8-year-old girl from Hayward. The man now in custody and the death and why he is not the only one in jail. Yeah, and Amanda, it was a day of remembrance across the country to honor those who lost their lives in the 9-11 terrorist attacks. It was like something out of the world. Right? I mean, all these four steel structures collapsed, burned out. We hear from three people from the Bay Area who experienced the attacks firsthand. And here in the Bay Area, temperatures are significantly cooler for us this week. Last week, this time, we were talking about record-breaking numbers. This week, below average. We'll have more on that coming up. But first, a look at this morning's top stories for you. New arrests made in the murder of 8-year-old Sophia Mason from Hayward. Her mother's boyfriend is in custody, but now we have learned three other suspects have also been arrested. Dante Jackson was the main suspect that police have been looking for until this weekend. Investigators say the three women arrested with Jackson are suspected of helping him elude authorities for the past six months. Jackson is set to be arraigned tomorrow on charges of second-degree murder and willful harm and injury to a child. Police believe he killed Sophia, who died at least one month before her body was found in a bathtub. They say she suffered under horrific conditions. There was evidence showing that Sophia